Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid! This is your Avalova Bubble, Shadow Blade 730. Let's finally probe deep inside the dreaded realm of Torion! Final realm of the game. Now just watch here. Oh, here's our first Metroid. Wow, that looks really creepy. Now destroy a Metroid, you first need to freeze them and hit them with either five super five missiles or one super missile. Oh wow, for some reason the green isn't really showing up. And we now have my co-host back! Mini Blade. Alright, let's kill us some more Metroids. For some reason, just they the green and the oh okay, now it showed up. <laughs> I don't know if for some reason those first two Metroids, the green didn't really show up. Now to actually progress through, you have to kill all the Metroids. Otherwise the door remains over. Oh wow, that's a really green looking Metroid. Okay. Five super missiles. The good thing about Metroids is they give a lot of power-ups. That's really nice. Now if you notice where they have the little circles in the um, actual background. They always actually um, produce things called wrinkles. Now, you can either destroy them, in which they'll just respawn, or you can just freeze them and move on your little way. They don't do a lot of damage, they're more annoying than anything, especially when you're out here trying to kill all these stupid Metroids. It looks like they found the baby Metroid and been breeding them. God, they look really creepy with no green on them. They look like little brains flying at you. It's really strange, but hey, I like it. It's different. Here to see three small windows. Oh, Metroids! Oh, you see that? All the green is gone. Okay, now the green showed up. Okay. Now, what you want to do is definitely once you get those Metroids out of there before they get to you, because they get a hold of you, then they'll just slowly build and drain all of your energy. And you really don't want that. And once they're on you, just detonate a bunch of uh, bombs or power bombs, and eventually they'll get out for you. Hello, hello. Well, these monsters here, these blue side hoppers, you actually can't defeat. The best thing is just to avoid them. Oh, wait a minute. It's a good. It, that was a Chozo statue, but for some strange reason, it just kind of melted, like in the dust or something. That's not good. And this ominous music isn't helping either. Okay. Why are all these creatures just kind of like just fading like that? That's odd. Uh oh, blue side hopper. Okay, so you can charge me. Wait, 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 what is that? What is that? Oh no! My god, that is the largest Metroid I've ever seen. Oh no. No, just, hey, just, just ignore us, just ignore us! No, god dog it! See, this is what happens when Metroid gets on you. you gotta get him off of you. you. Can't move though. It's too strong! Metroid, too strong! No! Looks like we're dead. I don't want to restart. Wait up. What? Hey, that's the same noise the baby Metroid made. Is that you? My, you've grown. Wow. Um, I mean, could you give us that energy back? I mean, I could really use it right now. All right, I mean, well, hopefully there's like a little charging station because I mean, that baby Metroid, well, I can't really call it a baby anymore, did a pretty good amount of damage to me. Now what you want to do here is, shoot your five muscles, open this door, but if you go through this door, yeah, you have a free, complete uh, missile fill-up, very nice, and over here you have a complete regular energy fill-up. So, yeah, not that much of a problem now. Well, let's see if we can continue our um, journey here. Hopefully that baby Metroid doesn't look at us and say, hey, y'all got a TV dinner there from the bro? You know he likes his nuggets. Don't you, love? Don't you, Mini Blade? You like your nuggets? Yes. Uh, looks like that baby Metroid likes the nuggets too, buddy. Uh oh, here we got an eyeball. Oh, that usually means a boss. Alright, make our way down here. I think we got wrinkles. Oh, there's the last save point in the game. So if you want to save, there's your shot. Uh, let's use a super missile because we're going to actually need a lot of missiles for this area. Alright, just like in Met the original Metroid, just aim up here, kill these Z-Bites. Oh, watch out for the lava. Now we have these Z-Bites that are a little bit different, but you can just run up, aim down, and try and avoid the Rinkos, Rinkos, but they're not that much fun. The main thing is just get these Z-Bites, because if you don't defeat them, they will regenerate and you have to start all over again. Whoa, that's a big brain in the jar. Yep, just like the original Metroid, here we are with the final boss of the game. The dreaded mother brain. 
the literal brains of the operation of the space pirates. Let's hit him with some super missiles. Hit the brain with the super missiles. Give this brain a big aneurysm. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go back to regular missiles. Oh, we got it. Yay! We defeated the vile evil Mother Brain. What? Yeah, we killed Mother Brain. We did. Yep. Now the galaxy is saved. Yeah. But why can't we? Holy crap! Um, looks like she learned since last time. Yep, uh, this is the second form of Mother Brain. Just pepper it with all super missiles, missiles, and then go straight to charge beam. Just get as much shots as you can. Um, avoid the bomb attacks, and she will, like, shoot these, yeah, blue rings like that. She also has a mu uh, much more powerful range attack, which I think she's about to show. She, like, claps her hands and has this big discharge. Just keep on with the power of the charge beam. Right, should get her. Yeah, it's like our beams aren't having any effect. See, that's that one where she kind of claps her hands. And I know it's not supposed to really have a gender, but I've always, since the um, captain in the game master, I've always assumed that Mother Brain was a female. Oh God, what is it doing? No, 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 no! Ow! Well, it sucked away all our power bombs too. What the heck? Um, that hurt. Why can't I move? I want to move. Don't just keep hitting me. Let me move. Game? Are you glitched out or something? Why are you making me die? Come on. Oh. Now it's just taking some kind of joy and watching us suffer. Not again. This is gonna suck. Whoa! Baby Metroid to the rescue! Yeah! Get away from her! Ooh! Baby Metroid! Baby Metroid! You're such a great character! Yeah, now you can turn to ash like all those other creatures. Yeah, that's how it feels whenever it sucked all the energy out of me! Thank you much for the assist, buddy. Wait up, what are you gonna do? No, not me too! Wait up. It's charging me! It's giving back all the energy it took! Awesome! Thank you, Baby Metroid! Wait up. That thing's stirring. That thing's stirring, Mini Blade! It doesn't look happy! No! No, no, no! You are not gonna kill my new friend! I named him! His name is Toto! No! Don't do that to Toto! Leave Toto alone! No! No, he killed Toto! Oh, it's... Oh, you big cerebrum-headed looking sucker! Time to die, Mother Brain! You killed my friend! We're gonna get you now, you big brain-headed bully! Just got to see him again after all this adventure, and you take him away from me? Ha! Too bad, Mother Brain. Uh, anyone need called need for a brain surgeon? Oh god, time bomb set! Okay, time to haul butt! Avoid shoot these walls, now we have the almighty power beam, hyper beam. Uh, best weapon in the game, unfortunately you don't get it for long. Don't need to charge up, it basically combines all your beams into one really powerful beam. Even capable of taking out these metal, um, space parts. Run through here, we got less than two, three minutes to go through, we got 243 now, come on! Run, Samus, run! Run before the planet blows up! I don't know what kind of explosive you use to destroy an entire planet, but you know what? If it does the job... Let's see, uh... Yeah, you don't want to do what I just did. Just head straight up. Um, use your uh, screw attack slash space jump. Um, don't have to worry about killing the space parts. It's not like to have a way off the planet. So yeah. Let them blow up. It's like been such a pain in the butt. We're here, here. Down. 
because some of these just say not the way, and you're gonna want to space jump them. I believe in this stage also you have lava rising, so you kind of want to get here, get out of here pretty quickly. Um, also, no power ups will drop during this part of the stage, so that's kind of annoying again, also. Alright, oh, that's okay, this is where we first started, right here in Gains of Brinstar. We're just gonna sit here and space jump all the way up. Jump up, jump up, jump up. You gotta hurry, Mini Blade. You gotta hurry. The planet's about to explode. Come on, Samus. Come on, you can do it. You can do it! Sorry, I stole that line from the whole movie. Oh, oh, now. Alright, now we made our way to Crate 2. Gotta make our way back to our ship. Okay, now, also, you can't open any doors except for one particular one. That we're gonna wanna open. Not that you have to, but you know what? I have a heart. I mean, we went this entire adventure inside Zeeves, and all we've encountered were evil um, creatures. Well, you, technically, you could have encountered a small group, like four actual good creatures that can help you. And here they are. You have the Eticones and the... I forgot the Oscar name. Now, just open that path with your hyperbeam and let them get out. Yeah, the Eticoons actually will, are the smaller creatures and they can teach you how to do a wall jump. I suck at it, so I never really go see them until I get the space jump so I can get out of there. Otherwise, I'm pretty much stuck. And the other one is, uh, like I said, I forgot the name of it, but it teaches you how to super jump. Like, when you run for short distance, you speed booster, press down, gather your power, and you jump, and you go straight up for a good distance. But it's going to cost you a little bit of damage. But looks like we made our way to our ship. Duck down, let's get in. Hop in. Come on now. Punch it, Samus! Hooray! That's a, that's a heck of explosives you got there, Samus. I guess destroying the space pirate's lair last time wasn't good enough. Nope, we've got to destroy the entire planet! Hopefully the loss of that gravitational field doesn't disrupt too many other worlds. But I guess it was worth it to get rid of, you know, the threat of the space pirates and mother brain forever. Now, if you save those good creatures, if you look in the right hand corner, you'll see one little pixel. Their ship flying away. Yep, I did all that just for that one little picture. And because I have a little bit of patience. Yep, clear time, two hours, five minutes. Now, usually I can get it below two. I usually get about a minute, an uh, hour 45 or so. But that's because I see like speedrunners do this game and complete this game. And, whoa, it's ridiculous the tricks they've done over the years. But yeah, looks like we've finished the game. Yeah, this was a go. This is what a lot, a lot of people consider this to be the best game on the uh, SNES system. And it's up there for me. It was just, they took a really good game and concept in the original Metroid and just took away any kind of issues that the game had. It is just a brilliant playthrough. Probably one of the best, I would say the best, that's argument, because something that I just go to, but one of the best, one of the top five at least Metroidvanias of all time. I used to actually play this game probably once a week. I'd beat it on the weekends when I was a kid. I have that much experience playing through this game. But once again, one of my favorite games. And now this has been a really good Let's Play. I picked this one because there's a lot of um, connotations from the Alien movies. Especially with, I find this one with the ending reminds me a lot of the Power Lord fight. But also, if you look at the actual name of the creature, Ridley is Ridley Scott. And the whole idea of this one female, strong female character, you know, being by herself, like those last couple minutes of, of each the Alien and Aliens movies, you know, you, you just got Ripley, and that is it. And that's very similar to how this game panned out, which I thought was very interesting. Um, also, I want to thank my co-host, Mini Blade, for joining me in the majority of this Let's Play. It's been a very pleasure working with you, Mini Blade. That's right. So, um, I will definitely rate this game a 10 out of 10 compared to anything else. It's on my top favorite games of all time. Definitely. Um, also, like all my, when I finish a Let's Play, I want to give a quick shout out to my biggest inspirations. Um, Nintendo Capri Sun, dude, you're just hilarious and amazing. 
um, David Fink, um, thank you for inspiring me to do this. And HC Bailey, dude, even though you're not playing any um, RPGs right now, you're the GOAT, man. But since we beat it in under two, um, two, I think it's 215, we get the best ending. Yep, 1994. Man, that was a long time ago. Yep, there is Samus in all her glory. Yeah, one of the, I think one of the very first female main protagonists of a video game. So yeah, that is that. We have just finished playing Super Metroid. Now, I will be taking next week off, but I'll be back the week after with a brand new Let's Play. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and our co-host, Mini Blade. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw a comment or two. And I want to thank you all for joining me on this mission. I hope to see this all of you back again when I do my next X play. Not next week, but the week after. And as always, we will see you all next adventure. <laughs>